Good afternoon, everybody. It's James Carpenter with Country Living. I um, <clears throat> been working out in the yard today. I didn't actually film the work, but I can show you the results. So this is a bed in front of the house. I I went through and weed eated, raked, leaf flowed. And got her all cleaned up and looking good. Uh, it's not finished yet, obviously. I'll probably get some more flowers in. And get um, a fresh mulch. And so on. And this is the asparagus patch here. Nothing popping up yet. Some spring flowers. And we got another little garden over here, flower bed I should say. I had a lot of gravel I had to clean up out of there. The um, When I pushed the snow, I pushed quite a bit of gravel in there. But this bed is ready for mulch. It's already got a lot of uh, perennials that are come up later. I'm seriously thinking about getting rid of that guy there. He got hit with the snow plow a little bit hard and he's been dying for quite some time. This little bed here, uh, it sets right on top of the septic tank. Obviously there is a layer of dirt between the tank and, and the uh, bed. The uh, pine trees I've got a good start on those. This will be their first, well, this spring will be a year that they've been in. I'll get them looking a little bit better before I put them out. There's some strawberries. That darker spot is coffee grounds. And this, this garden is pretty much volunteer I, I grow a lot of flowers and peppers and they and tomatoes and they reseed themselves and I just wait and see what comes up so we'll keep you posted on this little garden I didn't I didn't film any before shots on this equipment but as everyone knows when it sets out it uh, it gets pretty old and rusty looking so we we wire brushed it down and and put some um, rust preventative stuff on there and then uh, started painting the equipment with uh, some tsc farm paint uh, the wagon it turned out pretty good it's uh, actually i don't know if i told you the story on this but this is an old concrete mixing uh, barrel of sort um, I acquired it sometime and we took a took a axle out of a Chrysler minivan shortened it down and put it under there and built a little frame made a wagon out of it I really like the uh, the ball hitches it's a lot better than using pins the uh, well, here's a good before shot and I'll show you the after once this one's done this is the scraper box, and most of the other equipment I'm showing you was about as worn out and rusty looking as this. But it's amazing what a little bit of paint will do. Uh, this is a little boom for the back of the tractor. And obviously it's, it's not complete yet. We need to flip it over and paint the underside. Uh, this stuff here was new last year from Rural King. The um, tiller and that little spade looking deal. And this guy here, I see a lot of these on YouTube, Quick Disconnects. I'm going to, I got that last fall, it was late. I didn't really have a chance to um, get it to work quite right but I want to get that set up so it works on the majority of the equipment obviously it doesn't work on the uh, rototiller because of the PTO shaft 
the um, little roller here it's getting a paint job the rake uh, I I jokingly uh, said to my 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 techs in the shop I said did you see all that new rural king equipment out back <laughs> and I'll tell you what it's amazing what a little bit of paint will do